Hello, hello, it's Stumplet here. Here's an item on Algebra. Find all possible values of x such that the green expression over here is equal to 2674. Now credits to the Matinic 2021 for this item. As usual, pause this video if you'd like to give this item a try. But if you're done, let us dive into the solution. Now here we have 2020 floor functions and it's not really easy to um, kind of solve for x or try to remove the floor functions one by one. So what we're going to do here first is to make an observation. Well obviously there's a pattern x plus 1 over 2021, x plus 2 over 2021 and so on. But what's important here is to realize that, well, let's try to see the smallest uh, value here and the largest value here that is inside the floor functions. Take note that if we take the difference of those two numbers, so if I take the difference of these two numbers, it's going to be 2019 divided by 2021. And what's important about this is that that's less than 1. And there is a nice uh, result following from the fact that, okay, the smallest and the biggest numbers are, um, have a difference of less than 1. Now, what this is going to tell us is that, well, in the, there are 2020 floor functions here, but there can only be at most two different values for among all of these because, well, these two, the thing inside, they differ by something that's less than one. So it's impossible for this one, let's just say, uh, let's say this is k. Uh, this can only be also k, just in case, it, it might be possible. It can be k plus one, just so that, it, uh, it, it, or like it so happened that, um, for example, uh, let's say the red terms are actually, let's just say if the, if the red term here was, let's just say 1, then the red term here would just be 1 plus 2019 divided by 2021, and they'll have the same floor functions, or like, yeah, they'll have the same floors, but if uh, it was something like 1.5, and then this would be 1.5 plus uh, 2019 over 2021, that's certainly greater than a half, so the floor of this one would be 2, something like that. But it's impossible for any two floor functions here to have, uh, sorry, any three of these to have two different values because of the fact that, the, well, the smallest and the largest, they only have a difference of 2019 over 2021. So we now have just two cases here. It's either all of them are the same, either all of them are the same, or some of them will be one value and some will be the other. So let's talk about the first case. Let's just say, case one, all the floor functions are the same. So if that's the case, well, it's just a matter of kind of letting what each of these will equal to. Let's just say 1 equals uh, each of these equal to k. I have 20, 20 of these, so 20, 20 times k, that's going to be equal to 2,674. Well, the restriction here is that k is an integer. So, well, 20, 20 times k, that's going to equal to 2,630. I, can, I mean, I can solve for k, but obviously k will not be an integer in this case. So in this case, uh, I think it would be impossible here for us to have like all of these floor functions to be of the same value. So let's move on to the next case. Let's just say some of them has a floor function of a certain value. Let's just say k for now. And the other one, the other set would have uh, floor functions of k plus 1. So let's just say that um, the floor of x plus m over 2021 and the floor of x plus m plus 1 divided by 2021. Let's just say they're different. So like um, this value, let's just say the floor of this value is k. And obviously that's going to be applied to all the terms here because uh, they, should be ha they should have the same floor functions of k because m here, based on uh, how we define it, it's going to be between, uh, m should be between 1 and 2020 and well here the values here should be k plus 1 the next possible integer so here we just have a floor function some of, some of which are equal to k some of which are equal to k plus 1 and they're separated here actually uh, between these two terms so now it's just a matter of writing this in uh, terms of k and m actually so let's talk about the the left part so I have how many terms here? I have m terms, because I started from 1 over 2021. 
and I did it until m over 2021. So that's going to be a total of m terms. Each of them has a floor function of k. So that's km. And then now plus. Now we can just do complementary counting. There are 20, 20 terms in total and there are m terms in this part. So there's going to be a total of 20, 20 minus m terms here. All of them has a floor function of k plus 1. And well, this is the sum and this is apparently equal to 2674. So this sum over here, we just kind of have to evaluate this one. And this will now be a Diophantin equation in terms of k and m. So we know that k and m must be integers because k is the floor function of, uh, k is the result of, well, k is an integer. So it's the floor function of these values and k plus one is the floor of these values. So we just kind of have to uh, solve for integer values of k and m. So let's try to expand this one. So that's 2020k plus 2020 minus mk minus m. And then well, mk is just km anyway, so there we go. So km and then minus km here cancels out. So I'll have like 2020k minus m. That's going to be equal to, well, this 2020. I can subtract it from 2674 and I'll get 654 from there. So I have 2020k minus m is equal to 654. Now, we know that m lies between 1 and 2020, so it must be the case that k equals 1. Because, for example, if k was 0, then m would be negative. Now, if k equals 1, m, should, m is possible, but if k equals 2, uh, if k equals 2, actually, it's going to be 4040 minus m being equal to 654. But m would be less, m would be 3000 something, so that's impossible. So with this, we know that k here must be equal to 1. So that m would satisfy this, which is the restriction for uh, the way we kind of set up uh, m. So we know that k must equal to 1. So we substitute it here. So k equals 1, and we just have to solve for m. So solving for m is just a matter of uh, simple algebra. We're going to get m is 1,366. So with this, since we kind of made the assumption that it's uh, these two are correct based from this, so we just kind of substitute them. We know that x plus 1366 divided by 2021, that's going to equal to 1. And x plus 1367 divided by 2021, that's going to equal to 1 plus 1, so that's 2. Now it's just a matter of solving for x. And these two floor functions will give us these two. So we know that the expression inside, if that's equal to 1, that must be greater than or equal to 1, but less than 2. And similarly for this one, x plus 1367 over 2021, that must be between 2 and 3. So it must be greater than or equal to 2, but less than 3. We have to solve for x here. Now these will be the two inequalities for x. And the last step is just simply uh, simplifying it and just kind of working out the intersection of these two. Because we want these two to be correct. Uh, yeah, we want these two to be correct. So there will be a uh, restriction. And we kind of realize that the intersection it's going to be, well, values of x greater than or equal to 1 and 654 over 2021, and values of x less than 1 and 655 over 2021. And there we have it. Now, if you want the answer in uh, terms of mixed, uh, mixed fractions, so mixed numbers, you can also write x to be between 2675. Uh, sorry, this should be a less than symbol. So x is greater or equal to 2675 over 2021, but less than 2676 divided by 2021. And either of these two will be our final answers. Hopefully you guys learned something new from this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!